We're making a stir fry. We're going to make a chicken and vegetable stir fry. My name is Chef Frank of HospitalityRockstars.com. Welcome to my home kitchen. I have my wok going right now. I have a little sauteing pan here. This is going to be for the raw chicken product. Over here is going to be for the vegetables. So welcome to my kitchen. Chef Frank of HospitalityRockstars.com. Let's get this chicken sizzling right, up, right now. I'll be swizzling this a little bit, a little swirling so you can see it. Get that chicken inside that pan. I'll be using my tong over here just to get that just right. The chicken's going to cook for a little while. Right now, I'm not going to add any seasoning. I want the chicken to get at least two-thirds cooked before, maybe one-third cooked before I add a little bit of uh, sea salt and a little bit of ground black pepper. I have some sesame oil over here in my wok. You know it's ready when it just gets about to that smoking point. That's going to be for all of the fresh herbs and vegetables. I'm going to let this chicken do its thing. Welcome to my kitchen. I'm Chef Frank, guys. To all of our new subscribers, I love you guys so much. You guys are amazing, ladies. Thank you so much for all your feedback. The chicken is going now. I feel comfortable with that. The chicken might take, um, I don't know, maybe 15 minutes. So we're going to go ahead and throw some garlic inside this hot uh, wok with the sesame oil inside there. Let's start with some garlic. Let's get a little bit of garlic inside this dish over here. It should start smoking right away. If not, I'm going to turn you up. Got a little sizzle going on. We got some garlic in there. I'm going to turn it up just a little bit. This is a stir fry from scratch, everybody, okay? It's Asian inspired, so that means it has a twist of Frank in there as well. My chicken's going. I'm loving it. You see that? I have some garlic in my pan over there, and I'm about to use some fresh ginger. You see this ginger over here? This is some nice ginger. I already peeled the outer layer off. I'm going to peel this. I'm going to just go ahead and get this right inside my wok. Just like that. So you get the best flavor possible. You see when I shred it like that, it's still sticking on uh, my shredder there. That's okay because I'm going to show you a little trick in a second. Just going to get that on there. I love, I love, love garlic and ginger together it develops a nice profile for us so we're going to get some more ginger inside there because once that's done we're going to top it off with all the vegetables use a whole width if you can without shredding your fingers use a whole width of your shredder okay and that's about right for me i think that's good get some more inside there some more of this ginger inside there just like that just like this. If you're watching live, thank you so much. We want to do more lives moving into the spring summer season. I have some travel going on. Now in my walk, I'm gonna be using a, my wooden spoon there. Turn this chicken out a little bit. Now I'm gonna to add to my chicken just a little bit of some sea salt, just some natural sea salt. You can pre-measure this in the cup like you do on TV, but this is real time, real kitchen, real people. And I don't want to over-season that chicken because I'm also going to be seasoning the vegetables when they hit this hot wok over here. I'll show you something in just a second. Some fresh cracked uh, black pepper, ground pepper just like this in that chicken. And let that just go. I want the chicken all the way cooked before I add it to my vegetables. I like to do it in separate pans because what happens is everything maintains its consistency. Everything is not turning into mush. Nobody wants to eat a mushy stir fry. It's to be healthy. The chicken is still supposed to be plump and juicy. And once it gets where I want it to be, I'm just going to let it rest. I'm going to let it rest. So that's that. More black pepper inside there. Now I'm roasting this on here. Look at those roasted vegetables. You see this, guys? Nice roasted ginger, garlic. I'm ready for some magic. So let's go ahead and start with some snow peas. Some fresh snow peas just like this. In the wok they go. All of them. And just let that baby go. And then to that, I'm going to add some sweet red peppers, okay? 
do them all. Purchase whole and fresh, sliced up just about, uh, maybe about an hour ago. I was doing another recipe on my Instagram, hospitalityrockstars.com. Make sure you check us out there. Look at the chicken now. You see that chicken? Look at that. All right. It's still a little bit of pink inside there, so it's not all the way cooked, but watch this. You see it? It's still just a little bit pink inside there, a little bit longer, and then I'm going to make this pan disappear altogether. Okay, I like that. Not too much. Okay, turn up my wok. Coat the snow peas and the red pepper with that oil so they can start cooking the way they're supposed to, okay? Let that roll around inside there. To that, I'm going to add some white onion. Let that go. Yeah, save a little bit. Why not? Some white onion. And one thing about high heat cooking, it does not take a long time. Um, it's kind of important to know the density of a vegetable through and through so you know when to add what next. You see, I, I put the snow peas in there first because they're kind of thick. Now, when the, when the process is done, I still want them to be to the tooth like al dente. We want all the minerals and vitamins still inside there. Nobody wants to soggy stir fry. Some people, they prefer that. I'm going after nutrition, a nutritional value, a great deep taste, texture, and a merging of the meats and vegetables together. Now, right about now, my chicken, I'm going to call that about... This is about 80% done. And to make sure my chicken does not turn into rubber when I put them in, into the vegetable wok, I'm going to let them rest. This chicken is going to rest for a second. So, chicken's done. It's where I want it to be. Chicken's going to go inside the oven just to rest for a little while, okay? Now, let's get these vegetables cranking. Let's get them going. We added the snow peas, the... The sweet red peppers, we added some onion, there's garlic, there's ginger inside there. I want to do something. I had some of my scallions inside the up in the refrigerator, and they were kind of like almost trying to go bad on me, but we don't like wasting food. So I'm gonna give these guys a quick little cut. And I want them kind of large. I want this to be rustic. All the cuts do not have to be even. I want them to be still kind of large and with some bodies, so there's my scallions. They're going right inside there, just like that, okay? And now we got that whole baby cooked. You see this, guys? Now remember, the chicken is already resting in the oven. So we're just building. Oh, that's smelling amazing. Now, at this point, I'm going to go ahead and add some celery. I'm gonna put some celery inside there. You see my celery here? We got the celery, that's gonna go inside there, just like this. A little bit of celery, not all of it, okay? healthy, good for digestion. I have some cilantro. That's going to go in there toward the end just to give it a little bit of a fresh flavor. I got some carrots I want to put inside here too. The main thing is coating the vegetables in your wok, okay? You want them coated with that sesame seed oil, that sesame oil. We haven't even added our, our uh, spices or herbs yet. You want it coated. I do have some leeks here. Put some leeks inside there. Now remember, the dense vegetables go in first. The more thin pieces they go in toward the end, that way they're all gonna be cooking to that proper consistency exactly where you want them, all right? So, we're building it up. At this point, at this point I'm going to add some sea salt. Not heavy handed. Some sea salt there, okay. Some more fresh cracked black pepper. All right, you guys checking it out? Okay. Fresh spices and herbs are really the best. Sea salt, you don't have all that iodine inside there. We're going for health. We're going for wealth. We're going for mindset. We're going for flavor. We do have some chicken stock that I'm gonna be adding too. I do have some rice vinegar as well. That's going to be going inside this mix once I add the chicken. Oh, yeah. Have you cooked with fresh coconut yet? We have coconut, dried coconut here. 
that's also going to be going into this uh, to help develop that flavor profile as well. So I'm just going to give it just a little, it's dry, so it's dry. I can actually crush it in just like that and just put it on top of that mixture, okay? I want to show you something too. This is some, some coconut, a little bit of sweetness in there, natural sweetener to it. This recipe actually calls for some coconut sugar. We're not going to do that. That should be good there. Get that inside there. Okay, now, how I'm going to bring this all together is this. Oh, yeah, that's happening. That's a happening thing. Remember, I still have that the rice vinegar to add. I'm going to throw some nuts inside here as well. It calls for cashews. That's going to be for additional texture. Now, right about now, I'm going to go ahead and see how good this is right now. I can taste the flavor to see if my spices are right. Mm hmm. It's very good. Need a little more salt. All right. Now, because this is about where I want it, I'm going to do one more thing. My chicken that was 80% cooked when it was resting was still cooking. Now it's about 90% there. Still a little bit of tender on the inside. I'm going to drain the water out of here. There's no way I want to add additional condensation to this stir fry. It's going to wreck it. It's going to wreck everything about it. We're not having that. Okay, so remember, if you're cooking your chicken in a different pan, and you should, drain the liquid before adding the protein to the vegetables. Drain the liquid. Don't soggy up your dish, all right? I'm going to run that right through my, my strainer. Here comes the magic. You ready for this? It's going to go in. Go. Add the chicken. Add the chicken. Add the chicken. Add the chicken. Now, now we're coming around the corner. Now we're going to really kick up this profile. We're going to check for color and texture. If it needs additional sesame oil, go for it. Smell it. Use your nose. Use your senses. Look at that. You see this? Okay? You see that? All right, here we go. It's getting up in there now, all right? Now I'm going to do some finishing touches. Let that go for a second. Let that go for a second. house smelling great I have a lime a lime now here's a secret as this is finishing up you can always render more juice from your citrus if you throw it in the microwave for about 15 seconds it's gonna render more juice for the recipe I'm gonna pop it in the microwave just a little while, about 10, 15 seconds. I'm gonna add some chicken stock here, a little body. I'm not drowning my dish, folks. I am actually cooling it down and making sure that all the flavors co-mingle. I got them all coming together now. Here's my lime, add us some stock. It could be chicken stock, vegetable stock, whatever you wanna use. Okay. I want the juice from this lime. Cut in half, a nice lime there. Here, there, see this? That's enough, that's enough, okay? Did you hear how the dish cooled down when I started adding the liquid? This is what you wanna call, it's almost called a simmering process. If you were doing some heavy lifting, some working out, this could be called the cooling down process. Although this pan is still very hot, the food is registering around 150, 160 degrees right now, but it's now in the cool down process. Everything's coming together to get it just right. And, it's delicious. 
rice vinegar balsamic blend. I'm not going to drown my food. Touch it up. That's going to lighten up the flavor along with that lime. You see this? How you guys doing out there? You all right? Let me check my meats and broths. Yep. Got it. Got it. Perfect. Oh yeah. My cilantro. Just some cilantro in there, okay? Just a little bit. Let's get in there, baby. Let's play. Let's play inside a little bit. Play cilantro. Play. All right. Now, turn it down a little bit. Because for all intent and purposes, this is now a completed dish. Okay. It's completed. I want to make sure that it's doing what it's, it should have been doing all along. This is my... This is Chef Frank's chicken and vegetable Asian inspired stir fry. I can smell the guts. I can actually smell what's going on in this dish, folks. You can really, if you have a trained nose and you know what to smell for, I can smell that this chicken is done. And you can see it. Okay? You can see that. It's done. All right. Now, a couple of secrets here. We added everything. I want to give this just a little bit of a taste. Let me grab my taster cup and a brand new set of tongs. Let me get a brand new set of tongs and just see what else I want to do to this dish. Always include some of the juice from the bottom of that pan in your taste because this is the blood. This is the guts. This is the profile. See this? Look at this. That is a profile. That is all the flavor inside there. Always include some of that. Get a sweet pepper, get a piece of chicken, and how about a celery? Because celery has a great way of absorbing flavor too, and we're going to see how this is. I'm going to turn it down. I believe it's right. My chicken is done. When you're working with poultry, be smart. If you have a question, use Google. Let's see what we did. Look at that. Huh? That smells great. Mmm. Mmm. That's nice. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, watch this. Oh, 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 we nailed it. We nailed it. Now, it's done. This is good for the weekend. This is good over brown rice. White rice, you can take a spoon of this, add it to ramen. Okay, you can do this with beef. Done deal, baby. Done deal. If you like this video, leave me a comment, let me know. We'll do more of these. This is Chef Frank, a certified chef. I moved to Maryland to go to culinary, culinary school, management degree. We love everything about food and hospitality. If you like this, give me a comment. Throw me a thumbs up. Let me know that you're with us. I want to do more lives, but we exist because of you, literally. All of the followers and subscribers, especially the ones that I met all over the nation and world, I'm doing this for, for us, right? We need to have a blast, relax, have community. Food is communal. So if you want to see more videos, Encourage me, encourage Chef Frank, who's rocking out rock stars for you rock stars. Let me know we'll have more coming. Check us out. Follow us on Instagram, hospitalityrockstars.com. Follow us on Facebook, hospitalityrockstars.com. We're building up our TikTok, hospitalityrockstars.com. And share this. Invite some more people to what we're doing. We're not just showing you restaurants where to eat, you know, uh, content, making commercials. We're not just like, you know, doing travel stories. We went to Rome. We're going to be going to Israel in May. Barely believe that, but we're going in May. Let me know what you want to see more of. You want to see more lives? We got you. Chef Frank, HospitalityRockstars.com. We love you, babies. Be safe. Take care.